What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I am mesmerizing you by uh, the screen right now, but we're going to be talking about Streamlabs OBS settings and what the best setting is to use depending on your upload speed. Um, specifically, I'm gonna show you the best settings for 1080p 60, but I'm also gonna show you how to adjust that um, if you don't have quite enough good, quite good enough upload speed uh, to do 1080-60 and I'll show you how to adjust that in just a second But let's go ahead and I will show you how to get there if you don't know you go to settings and you want to go to output So um, to start off the encoder very very important um, Ideally you want to have a Nvidia graphics card preferably an RTX card, which is the newer ones um, But if you have an older one, this still works the same. It's still the best way by far um, But basically you just want to make sure you have an Nvidia graphics card if you don't I'm sorry This tutorial won't work great for you, but um, you might just want to use the x264 Encoder which will use your CPU. Otherwise, I'm not sure if AMD cards have something like this But basically what the NVENC new encoder does which is the one you want to use um, When you have an Nvidia graphics card, you will have this NVENC new option um, This basically is a dedicated encoder chip on your graphics card. So um, It doesn't use up any GPU usage so that your game can use all full um, have having the entire usage of you of your GPU so it won't impact your game's performance um, It's a dedicated chip for encoding video. So that's definitely the best thing you want to have uh, The best thing to use there and that's what you want to use and have on um, other than that rate control You want to have it on CBR. This is the rate control that you just have to use for live streaming It's what twitch and YouTube and platforms like that use so you just want to make sure CBR is or constant bit rate is your rate control Control, that is definitely something you got to have on don't mess with that now bitrate is where it can get interesting um, now I have it on 6000 and I stream on 10 at 1080p 60 and my upload speed is actually about 8 uh, on most days it, it stays about 8 uh, megabyte per second upload and that's really what I would recommend the minimum to be to stream uh, 1080p 60 if you don't have at least an 8 download speed I don't think you're gonna be able to stream 1080p 60 at least at very at, at very good crisp quality because um, in my experiments at least 6,000 bit rate is the perfect bit rate to stream 1080p 60 very smoothly with very minimal quality loss um, if any so uh, my general rule of thumb that I've kind of came up with is whatever your upload speed is If you want to get the maximum quality out of your internet out of your stream um, take the maximum uh, Upload speed that you have so if you have 10 upload or you have uh, for the for the example Let's just say you have um, Kind of like mine mine's an 8 upload speed. So if you have an 8 upload speed like mine um, subtract 1 to 2 megabytes per second off of that and whatever that is multiply that by a thousand and that's what your bitrate should be for the maximum quality um, without sacrificing any uh, obviously using too much internet any frame dropping um, because if you're playing an online game you're going to need um, a good bitrate especially if you're playing a fast paced game now if you're playing a a really slow game something that's not moving a lot or streaming something um, that's not a fast moving motion game a lot of motion then the bit rate being lower can still be very good quality but um, we're talking mostly about like Call of Duty here Fortnite maybe even Valorant um, you're gonna need a higher bit rate to get that really smooth uh, motion without any quality loss so for another example let's just say you have a five an upload speed of five megabytes per second so basically with my um, little trick you just want to subtract one or two probably subtract one from that uh, just to have the maximum quality so that would mean if you have a five or 5,000 uh, kilobit upload speed, then your maximum bit rate you should set is 4,000. And hopefully 4,000 would work good for you. If 4,000 gives you some frame dropping and stuff, you might wanna drop it down to 3,500. If that still gives you issues, go down to 3,000. And that's pretty much how I found this setting to be the best for mine. And I think that's the best method um, to find the best bit rate for you. Because based on my research, I think most online games only use half to one megabyte per second. So as long as you're around one to two under that, um, you shouldn't have any performance issues as far as your upload speed and your internet goes. Other than that, the keyframe interval, you just want to leave this on zero most of the time. You can set it to two. I think YouTube and Twitch both uh, prefer a two keyframe interval, but I personally leave it on zero most of the time. It says two. I think that's 
uh, because that's just what it got automatically set to. Um, but two works, zero is also fine. I think it's the same thing. I just leave mine on auto, but if you wanna put it to two specifically, then go ahead and do that. But uh, zero, two is fine there. So as long as you have one of those two, then you're good there. Preset, now if you have a really good um, graphics card, you wanna have it on max quality. Again, we are using the graphics card to process it. So if you have a really good graphics card, I would do max quality and that should work fine. If you see a little bit of issues, you might wanna test with some of the um, lower presets here, um, but I wouldn't go any lower than like the middle one, which I don't remember what's called and it won't let me click it because I'm recording with Streamlabs OBS. Um, but I would just go down one by one and see if that helps your quality. If it doesn't, then I just leave it on max quality because that's not your issue. Now for your profile, just leave it on high. This is the default, I believe. You just wanna leave it on high, no reason to change it. Um, just don't mess with that. Look ahead, I have that off, psycho visual tuning. Not sure what it does, but I think it's on by default and most people say leave it on. So I leave it on, have no issues, and I think it helps. So leave that on as well. GPU, this is just if you have multiple GPUs, which most of you probably don't. So this is this is just gonna stay on zero, which is basically your single GPU. Uh, max B frames, this is gonna be on two by default, I believe, and you just wanna leave that on two. So that's really the best um, streaming settings for 1080p is a 6,000 bit rate um, preset on max quality and you know make sure you have at least at the very least a seven upload speed but even when my upload was testing around seven i had a couple issues at 6,000 bit rate so i would recommend uh to be really safe uh bump down your upload speed by two megabytes per second um and use that as your bit rate that's what i've done because like i said i have an eight upload but i stream at two below that which is a six or six thousand uh, bit rate which is in kilobytes per second that's why it seems like a bigger number and that's really the best settings there now i will just touch really quickly on the video settings um, obviously this is where you change um, your resolution and your fps um, just set this to whatever you want 1980 uh, or 1080 by 60 is what i have and that's probably what you're going to want to use um, now if you do have not as good of internet you might be able to stream at 4500 bit rate and switch this to 72060. And that could also give you some very good quality if you don't have the best internet. Maybe you only have six uh, upload speed or something like that. Then streaming at 4500 uh, bit rate at 720p 60 FPS could give you some really good quality. So that's what I would recommend if your upload speed isn't that great. Now, if your upload speed is five or any worse, um, you're not gonna be able to stream in very good quality. Um, you might have to go down to 480p to get it to not have any quality loss issues, but then it's gonna be worse quality. But anyways, that's a whole other subject. So that's the best settings for 1080p 60 right here, in my opinion, 6,000 bit rate, two key keyframe interval, max quality, high, and make sure you're using the NVENC new encoder if possible. Um, and that's really it. So that should give you really good stream quality and not use up really too much or any of your computer's um, CPU or especially GPU because it shouldn't use really any, it shouldn't use any GPU with the NVIDIA new encoder. So that's gonna be it for me today. I just wanna make a little tutorial to help anybody out there that was struggling with this because I did a lot of testing and research on this to get it just how I like it. And hopefully this helps you guys uh, not have to do all of that that I went through. Um, but that's gonna be it for me today. Leave a like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed and I will see you guys next time.